Hi everyone, this is Tabor Cope, and this is the third video I'm doing on budgeting or personal finance. My first two videos, we answer the questions, what is a budget, and why should we budget? And I recommend that you watch those videos first, because the things that we learn in those videos build upon each other to this video. If you want to watch those videos, you can click here or here. Additionally, you can go to my website, TaborCope.com, and on the budgeting page, it has all the videos laid out there in a nice clean format. Now in this video, what I want to cover is the budgeting method that I've been using for over seven years. It's not a complicated method, and a lot of people have used it, but if you are disciplined and you're diligent, it's a really great way of budgeting your money. What I like to call it is the envelope method. Now there's two main principles as I see it in, in the envelope method. The first one is to allocate or distribute all your money into different categories. Okay? And the second principle is to don't overspend those categories. It's important to allocate or distribute all your money into different categories. There is no such thing as unallocated money. If you happen to find yourself in a position where you can't think of where to put your money and you've got some left over, then I've got a category that I call Go Nuts. And you can put the money there. And the idea is that if you go to the store and you see something that you want to buy and you hadn't planned on buying it, and you're trying to figure out where you might have the money for it, you can say, I know, I got some money in the Go Nuts category. So how the envelope method kind of works is think about the different areas that you spend your money. Let's say you've got housing costs, right? You've got to pay rent and you've got to pay electricity. You also have transportation costs. You've got to put gas in your car and you've got to do oil changes. You also have to buy food so that you can eat. So you're going to take all your money, and if you picture it as if you took it in cash, and you've got all your money in cash in front of you, you're going to say, I'm going to put so much money into my envelope budget, or to my food budget, into that envelope. I'm going to take so much cash and put that into the envelope for housing, into that category. Take so much money and put it into this envelope for transportation. When you're ready to go buy food, you're going to grab the food envelope. And then you go to the store, you're going to see how much money you have in there, and you're going to say, well, I don't get paid for another two weeks. And this is all the money I have set aside for food. So I need to make sure that I buy enough food with the money that I have to last for two weeks until I get paid again. And once I get paid, I can then take that money and distribute it back into the different categories again. And I can get some more money into my food budget. That's kind of how it works. Not overspending your categories is where the discipline and the diligence comes in. But if you can do that, then that's where you won't fall into unnecessary debt. And by forcing yourself to distribute and allocate your money in different categories, it's making you plan where you want to spend your money before you actually spend it. One example that I like to give to show kind of why it's important to do this is let's say you've got like $3,000 in your checking account. And if you don't have your money allocated into different categories, you may look at your checking account and go, I want to buy a pizza tonight. And surely, out of that $3,000, I've got 20 bucks to go buy a pizza. So you go buy the pizza. Well, then as the days progress, then you remember that you got to pay your rent and you got to pay your water and electricity bills. So you pay that. Then your car has some gas and so you got to put some gas into it. And then you remember you've got some other bills to pay. And then what happens, let's say, if your car breaks down and you don't have any more money? Well, eventually, that $3,000 gets whittled down and you realize that maybe I didn't have that money for 20 bucks for the pizza like I thought I did. But you don't realize that until a couple weeks down the road. So by forcing yourself to allocate your money and kind of think through where you want to put it beforehand, it keeps you out of trouble. Now, me personally, I don't like carrying around a lot of cash, and I don't want to have all my money in cash in different envelopes, although I know some people that have done that. So what I've developed is a spreadsheet that applies the envelope method principles, but I keep track of it all in the spreadsheet. Now that's the tool that, I'm gonna, that I have videos on for you guys, and you can see them on my website, tabercoke.com. You don't have to use my spreadsheet, you don't have to uh, use that, but it does incorporate those tools, and that's how I'm able to keep the envelope method 
and not necessarily have cash and a bunch of envelopes in my house. That's it for this video. In my next video, I'm going to talk about some of the categories that you want to, that every person would want to have in their budget, and also some general wise financial principles to live by. If you like this video, then please share it, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.